Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here. Let's see what intuitive messages the cards want to reveal for you and about the person that you are dealing with. The messages here may not resonate for all. Hopefully there's something here you can take away from this reading. Cross watchers, the roles can also be vice versa. And the messages here may also apply for work, family or friendships. I encourage you to take this insights however suits your specific situation, okay? Thank you so much, Virgo, for all your support, and let's begin. Spirit, we ask for insights and guidance for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Virgo need to know and need to be aware of at this time? All right, so first card out here is the Ten of Wands energy. I feel like this card speaks about laying down a burden, something that felt very oppressive. And laying down this burden, instantly you're going to feel a shift. We have the full card. A sense of feeling stress-free, freedom, clean slate. This may also speak about an emotional attachment. Let's open more cards out here, Virgo. We have the Nine of Swords. Somebody here has been having sleepless nights. Somebody here has been staying up late, feeling haunted about recent events. Virgo, I feel like this could also be the energy of the person that you are dealing with. They have you on their mind. Somebody is extremely worried. Somebody doesn't have inner peace at the moment. In fact, I feel like there's a lot of mental activity. Something has been clouding this person's mind. There could also be feelings of guilt. Let's see, we have the Ace of Pentacles energy. Now for some of you, this may not be about love, but I'm picking up you who may have been extremely worried about your current financial situation. It's important here not to overthink the situation, Virgo, but think about where you are at the moment and where you want to go financially. I feel like this is about having a plan, a solid plan, and also I feel this is a blessing from universe. You may have been extremely worried and felt burned out, or some of you, it's just taking more load than you should. Finally, with Ace of Pentacles, all your hard work here, Virgo, is going to amount to something wonderful. You can expect good money coming in, a windfall of resources as well. Ace of Pentacles is you needing to also trust in your process. All right, universe is vast, there will always be abundance. This could be releasing your need to constantly worry about money. Now, for some of you, this could be stemming from a feeling of, I'm doing it all on my own. I'm carrying all the load for others. This burden are not necessarily mine to carry, but yet I'm here, I'm giving. I'm giving so much, overextending myself. So whatever this situation is, Virgo, you are being guided to take smaller and more comfortable steps instead of taking all those 10 of ones all at once. All right, you're also being guided to prioritize your needs first before helping others out. You have been very generous here. However, with Nine of Swords, this may have also put you in a position where you needed to acquire more so that you can give out more. There is a need for a balance here with Ten of Wands. I'm also seeing there could be a need to reprioritize. What are my real priorities here? How could I shift the situation and cut the unnecessary pressure? Let's see. We have the Father of Pentacles. So this stressful situation is finally going to be resolved. I feel like with Father of Pentacles, there will be a sense of managing your wealth, property, and finances. This could also be about self-control, Virgo. All right. This could be controlling your spending, you overextending yourself too much. You have been a provider, you've been steady, you've been grounded. People see you as very reliable, somebody very trustworthy. But somebody here may have been, it was an overall sense of this person wasn't helping me enough. All right, I'm doing it all on my own. Now, if this speaks about relationship, Virgo, I feel like somebody's worried they're not helping you out. I feel like somebody feels they're starting to become a burden to you. It, it could be that they're, they're understanding now that how much you've helped them, how much you've assisted them, especially in times of need with Ten of Wands. This could also be they're worried they can never repay you financially or materially for everything that you've done. 
somebody could also be feeling guilty here let's see we're going to open more cards up for a go please take the messages however resonates okay what else can we get here for Virgo at this time? We have Four of Wands. So Four of Wands means repose, recovery, overcoming this stressful time. There will be increase of abundance and flow of money. There is a sense of stability being regained here and also a reason to celebrate. But on another message, this is also about feeling powerfully centered and aligned. So when you shift your focus back on what really matters here, where you want to invest your time resources, and making sure that you are not burdening yourself here with too much responsibilities, tasks, and obligations. You begin to find a sense of balance, harmony within. I also am getting that this might be domestic concern. For some of you, there might be some type of conflict among family here or conflict of interest. The reason why there was lack of harmony initially was because you feel you are doing it all on your own. There was a situation where you could have felt what if I'm not going to take action? Is nobody else going to take action? Is nobody else going to initiate? Feels like you are the glue that sticks a relationship, family, or could also be business or work together. And that's why you've been carrying all this stress with you. However, don't get me wrong here, Virgo. I feel like you on the outside, you may appear uh, like somebody very calm, cool, and collected. So this is also saying to not bottle your feelings and your emotions. Perhaps there is something that you need to say. Do not overthink things, but this could be a good time to reach out. Somebody that you need to address certain things here. Do not be afraid to set boundaries. Say no. Saying no is actually a spiritual act here to prevent yourself from you know, feeling burnt out. Because this can also lead to some serious health issues or... All right, you feeling energetically depleted all the time, misplacing your loyalty. Some of you might even feel, why am I taking care of everything and I don't have any more time to take care of my own needs? So in order to avoid that, Virgo, it's all about boundaries here. You know, I read somewhere that people with, with the most clear cut boundaries are the ones that can be extremely compassionate giving. They have all this energy in the world. They feel energetically centered and aligned. So... It's, it's all about learning to say no. Knowing what is acceptable to you and what's not. Because sometimes saying yes when you really mean to say no, that can be the biggest drain ever. Now, on another message, Virgo. This may also be somebody who said yes to you, but then they're not able to follow through. And this could be a feeling of guilt. It's either there was some type of proposal, offer, agreement, contract here of some something new. Could be business, investment. Now they're not able to follow through. Somebody is also worried that you no longer trust them or trust them about money. You know, when you have clear boundaries here, Virgo, people know where they stand in your life, right? We teach others how we want to be treated. So I feel like there could be an apology coming in. Let's see. So we have the three of cups energy. The judgment card. You are letting this go. You're releasing yourself from a very um, sort of oppressive situation here, Virgo. There's a cathartic catharsis purging of negative shadowed energies and towards the light you're also being guided to make a judgment call or making better decisions regarding this matter now with the three of cups i'm really seeing that somebody's about to message you ask for an apology wanting to work things out or wanting to talk about um, the situation they want to explain themselves they want to clarify something with you for some of you, you could be dealing with a group of people here, Virgo. You see, it's supposed to be a mutual effort. It's supposed to be a teamwork. People need to play the role. You've been playing the role over here, though. And it's like somebody has been slacking off, Virgo, I feel like. Um, but it's not going to be a permanent energy. I feel like with Judgment Card, somebody is ready to answer to their responsibilities or finally face what they've, they've been reluctant to face. This could be facing the issue about money, um, wanting to come clean with something, because that's the judgment card. 
there's a little bit of darkness in this card right somebody has been feeling guilty somebody has been feeling all sorts of low vibrational energy and emotion and unless they come clean with something they've done here they're never going to find that inner peace now, for some of you, this may also talk about friendships or family members. You may also need to purge whatever you, be, you may be holding on to, some feelings and emotions that need to be expressed. Don't bottle these feelings. This may not resonate for all, okay, Virgo? Let's see. So, we have the Mother of Swords. Wow, the appearance of this last card makes a lot of difference, only because the Mother of Swords is somebody that's very intelligent, perceptive, discerning, not afraid to speak her truth this is the energy of i'm not going to cry over spilled milk it's just better to clean it up and move forward so that could be how you're coming across here you are willing to forgive but you're not forgetting what happened here but it's only going to serve you as a lesson it may also be that you are taking everything into account like so this is what happened i know now better who i can trust with financial situation who i can count on the people that are there for me people that are there when i'm struggling if this speaks about romantic connection here virgo could be that somebody you found out that they were not being honest with you completely coming clean with the judgment card you could be making a decision whether to forgive this person take them back take their word for it all right there could be some type of authority here or you are taking charge taking your power back you're taking your power back here from a situation that really caused stress anxiety and pressure and now with the mother of swords you speaking your truth and not being afraid to address certain things is going to be the beginning of finding solution you're going to make executive decisions here virgo i feel like with mother of swords using that sword to cut or trim the excess right and with Ten of Wands, some of you, this may all stem from a feeling of when I give somebody everything, my emotional, mental, and physical effort, I need to know if somebody is, you know, willing to go over and beyond as, as much as I am. So you're being consciously aware now, all right, of what drains you. You want reciprocity. You want somebody to extend themselves as well or just be there for you. Bottom of the deck is the magician. So you already know, and I feel like some of you have been planning this out. You've been wanting to talk to this person. On another message, financially, this means about, you know, you being a master. You already know what it takes to be abundant, to be successful. You're somebody very hardworking. All your hard work is going to amount to something good here. You just have to stay confident and trust in the process. If there was any sort of financial decrease in the past, like I said, there will be recovery here. You might be hearing positive news about money, update, message. Finally, you know, repose from somewhat a very stressful time. All right, so Virgo, also apology is the theme of this reading. Somebody that may have been feeling guilty. They may have been very reckless with something or you trusted someone but they turned out to be they, they turn out to do something that you did not see coming and this disappointed you so much you know let's see what is your overall advice for virgo at this time so we have break the chain ancestral patterns healing rewriting the future some of you, this is also, you, you know, liberating yourself from all that has been weighing you down. Um, you've been in the dark because of this situation, but you're coming out here. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. But there might also be a need to break the attachment with Ten of Wands. Or you need to release the attachment so that you can make appropriate and logical decision. Let's see what this card is saying as, as advice for you, okay? By the way, this is called Work Your Light Oracle Cards. You're being called to heal your family line or free yourself from living the life of your ancestors. This could mean letting go of an old pattern of your maternal or paternal line. Healing trauma from the past is not even yours or observing old ways of being that no longer serve you. We carry emotional trauma in our luminous field for up to seven generations back. This is why family patterns can be the hardest to break. 
Often they are not even ours to begin with, but we do not know another way of being and so we continue playing out the drama. The thing to notice when ancestral healing comes up is that you cannot heal another person, but your own healing can cause another person to choose to heal. Energy is freed up. You are being guided now to look at your life and decide how you want it to be. What ways of beings or patterns are you ready to free yourself from? What part of your future do you want to rewrite? Now is the time to shake them off and dream a new future into being. Some of you here may be seeking assistance from your support team. This could be tribe, friends, healer, coach to begin freeing yourself from it now. It's a beautiful reading here, definitely a purging to start afresh. This is what I'm seeing for you, Virgo. I hope that this gave you some insights and guidance. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I'm sending love and light. Take care at this time and namaste.